On July the 1st, 1999, the day had just dawned in the French Alps and the staff members working at the Plateau de Beur Astronomical Observatory were up and ready to go on about their morning and start work. The workers included five astronomers, nine construction workers, four technicians and two maintenance workers, all of which were of French nationality. In order to get to the Plateau de Beur, the workers had to take a gondola, also known as a cable car, which they had done many times before. The aerial tramway was built in 1981 and had never had any issues prior. It was approximately 7 in the morning when the staff members boarded the gondola, which had been serviced by an aerial tramway owned by the company. At approximately 7.15, the cable car had travelled 1,600 feet from its starting point and over 260 feet into the air. This is when disaster struck. The cable car had somehow detached from the cable and plunged to the rocky slopes in the valley 80 metres below. The cable car disintegrated on impact with the ground and there were no survivors. All 20 people on board had died. In a hastily organised crisis centre meeting, the mayor, Jean-Marie Bernard, issued a statement which said no one could have survived it and no one did. There were bodies scattered over a big area and there was almost nothing left of the cabin itself. It was like the aftermath of a plane crash. The cable car fell and we don't know why. These are working people and now they are dead. The mountains are in mourning today. Nothing could have led us to expect such disaster. After the incident, State Prosecutor Michael Solaris announced a manslaughter inquiry. According to the CEO of the cable car company, the car was working in perfect order prior to the accident and had only just recently passed an inspection. He also indicated that APAB, a private engineering firm, had carried out the last major inspection where every part of the cable car was evaluated, including the cables, the cabin, the motors and the pylons. Although local officials claim the gondola broke free from two of the three cables which supported it, causing the third to snap, the French Association of Cable Car Operators claim the issues were caused by the cabin becoming unhooked from the cable rather than by the cable itself snapping. Following the inquiry, the state prosecutor demanded a six month prison sentence for the eight of the maintenance workers at the observatory. However, five of them were acquitted. The three that were not acquitted were convicted on negligence charges. The director at the time, Marinus de Jong, was also convicted on negligence and was fined 15,000 euros. The French president at the time, Jacques Chirac, sent his condolences to the victims' families and described the crash as a truly horrific tragedy.